One nonprofit's mission to help rehabilitate wounded veterans through unique outdoor programming on today's Common Good, presented by Subaru and the Subaru Share the Love of It, going on now through January 3rd. Hey y'all and welcome to Common Good. I'm Luria Freeman. Today, we're talking with Bill Campbell, the Virginia Regional Coordinator of Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing. Founded in 2005, the project provides support to active military service members and veterans through fly fishing and associated activities, including education and outings across the nation. It doesn't make any difference really what branch of service you come from. We don't care. You speak our language and we speak yours and we're all in this together to be on the healing journey. Project Healing Waters started in 2005 as the brainchild of a Captain Ed Nicholson. He's retired, but he's U.S. Navy, but we have since grown to around 240 programs nationwide. We even have two programs in the state of Alaska. Captain Nicholson, Ed Nicholson, was being treated at Walter Reed Hospital around 2005 for uh, cancer. He was feeling a little down and he remembered how much fun it was to go fishing when he grew up. So on the weekends, he would take his rod and his waders and go out and go fly fishing. And as he was leaving the hospital, he would pass through areas of the hospital where there were combat personnel that were back being treated there at Walter Reed for combat related injuries. So he basically just went up to one of the guys and says, hey, you wanna go fishing? Let's go fishing. I don't believe Fly fishing is hard to learn. I believe it's like any sport. The activities that we provide in the locations where we provide it distracts them from all of the things that are going bad in their life or wrong in their life. We give them a safe place where they can be themselves and where they can be distracted from all of that stuff. And then we let them focus on something that is healthy, that is constructive, and that occurs in beautiful, peaceful places. I hear a lot of participants tell me that there's nothing more rewarding than catching a fish on a rod they built with a fly they tied. And so the rod building is a big part of what we do. There is method to our madness. Tying flies and building rods requires some type of manual dexterity. And people who have limited upward mobility issues because of their service experience get to work on that manual dexterity as they tie flies and build rods. So it's therapeutic in that respect. I was looking for a way to take my people fishing over wild trout. Best place that those fish exist is in Shenandoah National Park here in the state of Virginia. And it really doesn't make a lot of difference whether you're trout fishing, bass fishing, saltwater fishing, just the idea of being outdoors away from the day-to-day -day struggles of life and in some place where whatever, you, whatever struggles you left behind don't matter anymore is restorative, I guess is the word. Our Sea Good Do Good Challenge this week is to prioritize your mental health by doing something outside. As the weather gets colder, it's still important to take a moment away from technology and have some quiet time to reflect and reset. After all, whether big or small, one act of common good can change the world. That's it for today. I'd like to thank Subaru for presenting today's episode. Through their partnership with the National Park Foundation during the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru is able to increase public awareness and engagement with our national park system and provide critical funding to programs and projects that help protect America's more than 400 national parks. Thanks so much for watching Common Good.